First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone who will will and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hope for elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, if He loves His Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are looking for to come in these last days. And we are most definitely in the last of the last days. And with that being said, uh, it's a lot going on right now, okay? And I'm going to get to this couple of articles that I have uh recorded earlier. Okay, we're gonna get to we're gonna get to these right now. And then I'm gonna hit the scriptures, okay? So bear with me. Okay, let's see. First of all uh I wanna deal with the uh Opposition, okay? Controlled opposition, okay? And it reads a controlled opposition. I got this off of a site called UD, okay? A controlled opposition is a protest movement that is actually being led by government government agents. Ne nearly all governments in history have employed this technique to trick and subdue their adversaries, okay? Controlled opposition, a strategy in which an individual organization or a movement is covertly controlled or influenced by a third party. And the control entity's true purpose is something other than a publicly stated purpose. Then it's pub publicly stated purpose. The control entity serves as a role of mass deception, surveillance, and or political social manipulation. In most cases, the controlled party is portrayed as being in opposition to the interests interest of the controlling party, okay? Now, with that being said, it also leads to, uh, a, you, know, con is, you know, order of chaos, okay? Because, you know, in politics, like as I'm reading here in the Wikipedia, in politics, the opposition comprises one or more political parties or other organized groups that are opposed primarily ideologically to the government or in American English, the administration, Okay? In politics, the opposition comprises of one or more political parties or other organized groups that are opposed primarily, primarily ideologically to the government or in American English administration, party or group in political control of a city, region, state, country, or other political body. The degree of opposition varies according to political, political conditions. For example, in the authoritarian authoritarian and democratic system, opposition may be respectively repressed or desired. Members of the opposition generally serve as antagonists to the other parties. Okay. Now, control opposition is the use of black propaganda and saboteurs who claim to oppose a particular fashion, but I, in fact, working for the faction. And there's no such thing as black. That's just a social cons, cons, uh, construct that the Rich and Elite Bacon families put on people to separate themselves as being superior to the people that are not, and everybody else not superior. And it goes back to iconoclasm, this destroying of images. Okay? But then I got something I'm going to show you uh, also. To give you a of, of what's going on, and then I hit the scriptures. Bear with me, so like it. You want to get one of them, didn't you? 
Now, for instance, you're going to take that back. Look at what's around his neck. Now, watch. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Look what's around his neck. That looked like a Masonic emblem. Okay. Look at it. Now, Justice and looking to get more justice. Years of justice. The Harlem shows is the hatred, the hatred that he saw has for you, Jakes, out there, okay? So let's get back to that. This guy had Messianic symbols so around his neck, okay, in Haiti. All right. Now, Esau Edom controlled opposition, is using this to demonize you, Jace, out there. Now, you think that that's got nothing to do with what's going on here, or it cannot come to here, but it will, and it is. As you see, they have National Guard in New York in the, on the subway, watching the subway. You see the migrants over here. Everything is being turned to demonize you, Jace, out there, okay? But see, you don't believe it yet, all right? This this is coming to you. It's coming to you, straight to you. Okay? It's coming straight to you because it's control opposition. Okay? Now, you've seen what was around his neck, a messianic symbol, all right? Control opposition is the use of black propaganda and saboteurs who claim to oppose a particular faction that are, in fact, working for the faction. Okay? And as you see, yeah, it's an old saying, the strange bedfellows, okay? So let's, let's get to some of these scriptures. And we get to that. Okay, we're going to start off with our, I got no on Psalms 55 and 20. Okay, and it reads, He have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He have broken his covenant. And that's exactly what he has done time and time again. Okay, the Esau Edom, Richard E. Lee Bacon families, okay? Because what? Psalm 55 and 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Okay, they say politics make us strange bedfellows, meaning of strange bedfellows, okay? It's a phrase coined by Shakespeare, it's full of contest as misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. It has come to mean finding oneself in a difficult situation forces one to associate with a condition or person or persons that they would not normally have anything to do with. This is what the wicked Esau Edom, the simple claim white man, has done so that he can forward his enterprise, his NWO. And Jace out there, you Jace out there are part of his control opposition. Look at Haiti. What do you see? I just mentioned that. But you see Levites, okay, from the southern kingdom. Okay, they are that wild olive tree with, with no truth of who they are, okay? And they have been set up by strange bedfellows, which is Babylon the Great, spiritual Solomon in Egypt, also known as America, okay? Their insider is the gang leader. Who, by the way, is seen wearing a Masonic emblem around his neck, okay? Just look up that word, order ab chaos, order out of chaos, control opposition, okay? Psalm 28 and 2. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward the Holy Oracle. Okay, that's King David, okay? You're asking the Heavenly Father, he's praying to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, okay? 
This is why we should pray continually, as King David did, that we won't fall into the hands of the wicked, okay? Because he will most certainly destroy the wicked Esau, Edom, and all of them that is linked up with them, okay? That goes for you, Jace, too, okay? You linked up with them to do evil. Hence, the inside in Haiti, he has a Masonic uh, emblem around his neck. He knows what's going on. He's controlled up your sister, okay? You don't want to be caught up in that. Psalms 5, because that judgment is coming on Esau, Edom, and those linked up with him that's doing these evil things, evil and wicked things, okay? Psalms 5, 5 through the 7th verse. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity and sin. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing, okay? The Holy Father Yahweh and all cast will, will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, okay? And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Who is the, the holy temple? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Through the holy scriptures. Did you read in the holy scriptures telling you things, okay, that you should be doing and how you should be walking and, and, and keeping you sharp, okay, in the land of darkness, land of this wicked kingdom of Esau Edom, okay? I got a transliteration of our leasing, Kassab, okay? And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, and it means a lie, untrue, false, deceptive thing, okay? Strong's definition, okay? False, literally, or figuratively, deceitful, false, leasy, liar, lie, lie, okay? Psalms 138 and 2, I will worship toward my holy temple, and praise thy name for thy love kindness, okay? And for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. This is why the true name to the Most High Yahweh and the true name of the beloved Son, Yahweh, so is important. You see the proof of this all throughout the world. By the true name of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so which are lifted up on the highway and hedges, and every day on the Unicorn, that's in Psalms 19, the end of that scriptures, okay? By first the apostles and elders of GMS and like-minded caps and teachers on down. You are seeing the prophecy jumping off the pages. Remember, Elder Apostle Taha, coin 2024, the year of Jacob's trouble hopefully comes to pass. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Pashem, Yahweh, side, this is happening. Isaiah 55, 6 through 7. Seek ye the Most High, the, the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Most High Yahweh, and he will lead, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Okay, we are at the threshold of Jacob's trouble. Control opposition is running hot, and soon that fire has to be put out with what? With martial law, money in the bank. Will no more be going out to the ATLs, okay? This money will be cut off, okay? Revelation 13, 16, okay? That's going going to uh uh the Karagma, the sea hook, okay? When they make it mandatory, it's all hell gonna break loose, okay? And if you take it, which is gonna be if you take it, if you receive it, it's gonna which means it has to be subdominantly subdominantly implanted under the skin, you're going to be judged. You're going to be destroyed by double nuclear missiles by the Holocaust of Yahweh, okay? Revelation 14, ninth verse, okay, I'm down, okay? You're going to be destroyed, okay? Because what you think is going to happen when people can't get their money, okay, out the uh, banks, okay? When they, they can't even get their, uh, uh, operate their bridge, car, none of that. You won't be able to live and eat, okay? It's going to be chaos, okay? How can you pay your bills? It's going to be chaos, okay? And then, and that's that control opposition. Or the app kale, okay? That's that's when that steps, that's when that happens. That's what's gonna happen when it happens, all right? You see, because you don't fear, you know, the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, the most high by Shem Yahweh is gonna destroy you, okay? Why? Because you know you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. I see 55 and 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain coming down, the snow from heaven, and return it not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower 
and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of the earth, or out of my mouth. So like it. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Okay? It's been sent out to his prophets, the prophets that the prophets are prophesying in the highways and hedges, and doing these video epistles. And you see, these prophecies are jumping off the page. Okay? Again, the true name of the Most High Yahweh and the true name of his beloved son, Yahweh Shah. Okay? These things are synonymous. Okay? With mercy, judgment, salvation, and truth. Okay? And I'll leave on this one. Leave off on this one. First Ezra 4, 37-40. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works, okay? And there is no truth in them. And their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth is endured and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her there is no accepting of persons or rewards. But she doeth the things that are just and reframe it from all unjust and wicked things. And all men do well like of her works. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness. And she is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be the power of truth. Well, who is the power of truth? Okay. The, the power of truth comes to, comes to names. Okay. The true names of the Most High Yahweh and His only beloved Son, Yahweh. Okay. And it was given to the apostles of the great millstone that, that they were taught that and, this, and, we, and in turn we all were taught the true names that's not Jesus it's not Yahweh it's not uh, uh, Yeshua it's not uh, what else they use uh, Yah you know you gotta have the true names the full names in, in Hebrew Okay, the Lashawan Kodash, the, the pure language, the, 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 the true tongue, okay? You have to have a true name. Only the servants of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, will have a true name. Anybody coming at you and don't, and say any other name, don't listen to them, okay? Then you have to study and, and show yourself approved by going to the, 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 the Holy Scriptures, okay? And learning. When the apostles and others are great millstone, okay? John 17, 5 and 6. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I have, which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest thou me. And they have kept thy word. This is the elect men standing with the elders and apostles, Jim, Messiah, and Dom, which are the prophets that are back at their lot in the reincarnation, if you can receive it, of the highways and hedges, okay? Romans 8, 28, 29. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, to them who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did for a new. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, okay? On this side, it's all about the elect of Israel, not Esau, Edom, or you other heathen nations. It's, about, it's only about the elect, okay? Because even two parts of Israel will not make it on this side. But they will be redeemed through the loins of the elect, 144,000, the innumerable number of the true believers that make up the one-third, okay? Zechariah 13 and 8 through 9 verse. And it shall come to pass that in all the land said the heavenly father Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Okay? I will say it is my people, and they shall say, Most High Yahweh is my power. Again, this is the purge, which is Jacob's trouble. As in Prophet Jeremiah 30 and 7. Okay? And it's coming out of the control opposition. 
this devil Esau's horns will come out, and we are at the threshold of it. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and say, and ye that dwell in them. Read that again, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. War which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, to all you other heathen nations. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay? Now, he's going to come down because he knows his time is up. He knows the kingdom is crumbling. He sees this, okay? So he rather destroy everything, even himself, and rather to give up his kingdom like that, okay? It was given to him, so, you know, he don't think his kingdom could, you know, he don't want to give it up, okay? And right now we are already in 2 Ezra 15, beginnings of it, okay? 2 Ezra 15, 5 and 6, Behold, said the, the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the swore, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, you're seeing this now, and it's only going to get worse. But you two thirds, from old to young, will be caught up in it. You know, we just, what happened in 2019? That's those plagues, okay? You didn't listen then, just like you ain't going to listen now. Okay, that's those plagues, all right? Second Exodus 9, 10 to 12. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty. And when as yet a place of repentance was open to them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Okay? You people old or young, you last generation, generation Z, you because you are entitled, you feel you know you you are, you are entitled. Okay? You never worked hard for a living. You never look, we are under the curses. And your brain's been twisted up, okay, through Esau Edom and, and, and his his beast system, okay? So you really don't know what's happening. You people, old or young, you last generation, Generation Z, you entitled. You who despise Yahweh Bahashim and Yahweh Shai, you scoffers and mockers. This is for you, 2 Exodus 9, 11 to 12. And they that have loathed my law, but they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. That's those thermonuclear missiles, okay? I said 33 and 1. Woe to thee, that spoilers, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, then shall be spoiled. Thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay, that's judgment coming to you rich in the lead banking family, Esau, Edom. Recompense, which means payback. It's going to be your judgment from your house and your house, okay, for what you have done to the true Hebrew Israelites, the so-called so Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through slavery and everything else in between, all right? Jeremiah 50, 32 to 34. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. Who is the most proud? He saw Edom. Babylon the great, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. That pride that it, it, is exuding from you. You know what I'm talking about. The homogenous pride and everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. The few, the proud, the Marines, all of this, okay? That's that pride. All right? But it can't compare to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Jeremiah 50, 32, 34, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in the cities, and it shall devour all around the bottom. But some fires, they got the southern border. Don't they have the National Guard in Texas and everything else? But the people want to secede from the states? Don't you see it? Don't you see the Civil War, Civil War brewing? Don't you see the Order out of chaos. The control opposition. Don't you see it? That said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh host. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Okay? And all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. Okay? Because you're the most proud. You refused. But, and you continue in your wickedness. You continue oppressing us. 
Okay? Hey, but we have a redeemer. Their redeemer is strong. The most high Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. All right? Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. Not where and who is he? I put a question mark there, but ain't no question who he is. Your rulership is out of the end. As the Holy Scripture says, okay? And we see this in real time. And it is a prophecy, which means to say before, you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. That's in 2 Corinthians 13 and 8, okay? 2 Esther 6, 7 through 9. Then as I have said, where shall be the parting of the son of time? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed? And he said it to me, from Abraham and to Isaac, then Jacob and Esau was born of him. Jacob and Hill. Jacob and Han held fast, held first the hill of Esau. Read that again. Second Esther 6, 79. Then as I said, what shall be the party of son of times? And that's as we're speaking to asking uh uh Yuri the angel, what will be when will the ruler suit? come down the wicked rulership and, and, and the rulership the righteous rulership began okay and this is what was said then as I and said where shall be the party of son of the time or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed and he said it to me from Abraham to Isaac when Jacob and Esau was born of him Jacob's head held fast held first the hill of Esau for Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. And when they say Esau the end of the world, I mean his age, his ruling age. Okay. His time of rule. It's over. Okay. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So after Esau's kingdom fall, and which it is, because he just said it. And he can't he can't lie because he's the father of lies. He can't lie because it's, it's, it says it's in the Holy Scripture. He's ruling right now. And his rulership going to, at the end of his rulership, Jacob is going to rule Israel. Okay? So there's no denying that. There's no denying it. Okay? Let me run this video back a little bit. So you can really understand that this place is wicked and it's getting ready to fall. Okay? It's getting ready to fall. And all these things you see in Haiti is coming here. They already got the, the, the National Guard in New York. They already got, the, if you notice the earlier videos, if you had noticed the earlier videos, okay, uh, last year, you know how the troop vehicles on trains coming into the cities, they haven't left. They're still here. Look at what's going on in our... Uh, uh, Russia, Ukraine, no peace in the so-called Middle East. Okay, you get the Red Sea, the Houthis, and Iran, and North Korea. It goes on and on. This place is being isolated for destruction. Okay, but of course, they're setting everything up with control opposition so they can come down on you, Jakes. Okay. They're demonizing you. They're getting set. They're getting ready, okay, to do this thing. His horns are getting ready to come out, okay? You want to get one of them,
And there's no way I'm covering for these Levites because they wear off. They're worshiping all those idols, voodoo and everything else. Okay? So, of course, they're getting judged. But yet, still again, Esau, Edom, rich and elite banking families are using this for control opposition to demonize the rest of you Jakes. Okay? And his horns are coming out, as in this case. For more justice and looking to get more justice. Years of You're the reason why, in large part, I beat Donald Trump. Yes. Let's beat him again. Controlled opposition. Controlled opposition. You remember that? Well, you know, we, I need you. I need you badly. I need the help. Kamala and I desperately need your help. Because, look, there's only about six or seven states that are going to determine the outcome of this election. There are toss-up states. This is one of them. This, uh, this election is, uh, is not a referendum on me. It's, uh, it's an election between me and a guy named Trump. And, uh, and uh, this is a guy who, uh, who's, the way he talks about the Latino community is, uh, well, in 2016, he called Latinos criminal drug dealers and rapists when he came down that escalator. Now he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. What the hell is he talking about? No, I'm serious. Think about we are, we are, in fact, the reason we're as good as we are is because we are the most diverse country in the world. Controlled opposition. Okay? That's what you're seeing. This is what you're seeing. Control opposition. Control opposition is a protest movement that is actually being led by government agents, nearly all governments in history have employed this technique to trick and subdue their adversaries, okay? Control opposition, a strategy in which an individual, organization, or movement is covertly controlled or influenced by a third party and the control entity's true purpose is something other than its publicly stated purpose, okay? It goes on and on. Okay, on and on. All right. In politics, the opposition comprises one or more political parties or other organized groups that are opposed primarily ideologically to the government or in American English, the administration. Okay. In politics, the opposition comprises of one or more political parties or organized groups that are opposed. It goes on and on. Okay. Controlled opposition is the use of black propaganda and saboteurs who claim to oppose a particular faction but are in fact working for the faction. See, all of this is what's happening. This is what's happening. Control opposition. Okay, and with that, the water to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh side. By Hashem Rakak Madash, that will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And with that, Shalom. And by the way, this is the right from the Detroit camp. And I just had to get this out because I was feeling in the spirit to do this. Shalom. Hey, you want to get on with the <laughs> So 
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, ja, ja.